Hello, welcome to our living room. This is our silver tree, and usually it's sitting over there on the bookshelf to the left of me. Now, it's not a unique object in any way, and we didn't buy it to fulfill a particular purpose in our household, but over the past few years, it has become an object that somehow connects me with my faith and my beliefs. I think that's because it reminds me of all of those places in scriptures where there are references to trees and to growth and to new life. So when I reflect on this tree, I sometimes think about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the fall of Adam and our redemption through Christ. Or when I look at the leaves on the tree, I remember that Jesus goes to prepare a place for us in his father's house, which has many rooms so that we can meet again in the kingdom of God. During Advent, I've been reflecting on the tree as a fruit tree, and it reminds me of the fruits of our discipleship in Christ. Now, Paul writes in Galatians that the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness and goodness. And I've certainly seen an abundance of all of that in St. Matthew's over the past few years, right through to these very difficult times. And that gives me hope. So I would like to finish by just saying, yes, these are difficult times, but the fruits of the Spirit are something that we should celebrate throughout Advent. And I look forward to celebrating it with you.